I, my name is Gunther Spranis uh, and I'm a musicologist, singer um, and conductor. But uh, my main interest is uh, in the area of medieval music. My ensemble, uh, Skala Cantorum Riga, consists of uh, eight, uh, eight men. And we started actually 25 years ago with a big interest of early music. For me, it's very, very important and, and crucial to combine <laughs> the knowledge, uh, the, the, the knowledge of history with uh, with living performance. And this is what we really love to do: to to meet our audience and present this um, early and, and very beautiful music heritage. We do not know really how it how it sounded in, in Middle Ages, so we need to stick to. Uh, to, to the uh, old manuscripts and research on it, uh, to know the notation and signs of interpretation and so on. But at the same time, uh, we, we need to, to take in account that in, in every area uh, it sounded differently. So in this recording we try to reflect on it. For example, we use some some uh, traditional uh, music instruments here because we knew it it, it did exist in, in this area so and uh, most likely uh, these instruments were used in the music performance uh, we use instruments which, which were there in in this area uh, in, in in middle ages we use the medieval instrument uh, hurdy-gurdy we use uh, bagpipes and we use uh, the Latvian traditional music instrument, kuokle, uh, which is something really special. Nobody else could show this, uh, this music with kuokle. So we need to do that, <laughs> to show how does it sound, medieval Latvian music. And we even use a, a little of, of old Latvian language, where we as well wanted to show uh, how it could have been that time, so Latin and, and Latvian. Uh, nowadays we, we know for sure that uh, it was improvisation and it was uh, variation and, and some spontaneous elements but, uh, which doesn't mean that uh, it was uh, totally free <laughs> like in, in romantic music phrase you do what you feel for us it is really interesting to, to, to stick to the northern European tradition of medieval music we do not know much, but, but still there is, uh, there is uh, some material left. It's liturgical music, it, it's sacred music, it's, uh, it's uh, about, <laughs> about God and, 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 and worship. To record in a concert hall, there are many pluses as, as well, so you can listen really very well to, uh, to each other and, and find that certain combination uh, so we, we take it positively and uh, we are really happy to, to be part of, of this uh, joint project. Yeah.